Hi, this is News Now, the Belmont Journal news show and community update, and I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. How will you define your community? For Benny Wilson, Belmont resident, the community includes Roxbury and South and Boston, where dire conditions near the Confer Station on Mass Ave have prompted him to help. My name is Benny Wilson. Um, I'm a Belmont resident. I moved here with my family in 2019. Uh, my wife and two kids. Uh, one's at Chenry, one's at Burbank. Um, I'm a computer graphics programmer at a game company at Boston, and my wife's a scientist uh, starting at New Jackson. Wednesdays and Sundays, I'll uh, bring a bunch of, uh, I'll prepare, um, well, me and my team, uh, who, who has to be anonymous, uh, uh, we'll make like sandwiches, uh, soup, we'll collect things like bags and other donations and we'll take them down to the South Hampton Street sh shelter on Mass Ave in Boston. There's like a huge unhoused population down there. So we just go down there and uh, give people food and uh, see if they need uh, just bags, hand warmers, uh, anything else that we happen to have, uh, bathroom kits. Um, back in September of last year, I was doing um, food shifts at the Greater Boston uh, Food Bank. But when I was driving by, I saw this large group of people outside of what is uh, called uh, the Woods Mullen Shelter, which is over on Mass Ave, close to the Southampton Street Shelter. And I was pretty curious. So I went out there with some water, bottles of water, like, hey, does anyone need water? And then um, I saw, um, you know, I'd, I'd walk up to people and they would be in the process of uh, injecting themselves with needles. Uh, that was kind of striking to me, like uh, shocking, I mean. The shelter at 112 Hampton Street has been there for numerous years. And a lot of the concerns that we have as a community is the fact um, that it's an open encampment site um, that allows individuals to publicly inject themselves with different forms of um, substance, um, control substance down in the Mass and Cass area of Roxbury South End. Uh, South Boston, Dorchester uh, of the city. It's it's not an effective program. They do, they do not have enough beds to, to house individuals. They don't have adequate programs to assist individuals. It's an open uh, drug market um, down in the area, and it's causing other issues um, for residents uh, who live within that district. This area specifically, I think it's the substance abuse disorder that makes it, uh, that makes it different. Because the people are there are just like like super hungry. They're super un like a lot of people are just not taken care of. People are stumbling around. They got frostbitten hands because it's cold. Sometimes like when I go to unhoused populations in other areas, they just don't need help. You know, like I'm like, hey, y'all need some food? You don't want a sandwich? No, it's not. I've I've even offered money before. People are like, no, I don't need that. But this area, like, it's so desperate that people would eat a sandwich from a stranger. And I don't think a lot of people like in Belmont would do that. Like if a, if a stranger handed you a sandwich, would you eat it? You know, you might think twice about it, but but a lot of these people being unhoused and intoxicated, they don't necessarily take uh, have the time or even resources to eat or find clothes for themselves. So we go out there and try to help them out and also try to, you know, just uh, make a human connection with them. You no, know, tell them, you know, we see you, uh, this, is, this is horrible. And, uh, you know, see if we can um, brighten up their day a little bit. Some folks come because they are able to safely inject themselves in public without any form of um, punishment. It's 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 a system that's been in place without even thinking of the consequences uh, for the folks who live there. So it's gotten worse because you know the numbers of folks every year the area is increased by two to three hundred people. We have close to a thousand plus people who are displaced who roam the area, who are breaking into people's homes, who are breaking into people's cars, who are, you know, committing petty crimes uh, to, to feed their drug habits. And that all goes back to the people who live there who have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day base. If you see somebody struggling or suffering, you should, I feel like you should stop and help or in a way you're complicit in their suffering. It, it can be dangerous. There's been a lot of violence there. I do take a lot of precautions. Like I typically go during the day and I stay in like heavily populated areas. So, you know, I don't wander off into back alleys and stuff like that. You know, I stay visible. The South End Roxbury Community Partnership has put together several petitions asking the community to support, to have these comfort stations closed um, because they're not working correctly. 
they're causing more harm than um, harm reduction. So we're asking the city of Boston to close these comfort stations because of the numbers of incidents that continue to occur there. Uh, we've had a f- uh, multiple murders this year um, that happened within that 112 Southampton Street or Ackerson Street. The numbers of robbery has increased in the area. Larceny, breaking and entering, vandalism, prostitution has, has doubled in the last year. The businesses in the areas are losing, the, the residents are losing, and the problem seems to just be spinning out of control. There are neighbors, and the way I look at it is if conditions are bad on Mass Ave, this is something that impacts us as well. People that go to Mass Ave for the services, they come from all walks of life. You know, you see people who were, used to be doctors or lawyers or students. We meet a lot, we've met a lot of people that come from out of town because they don't have those treatment centers. So it's quite possible, God forbid, you know, someone from Belmont needs to go down there. Uh, We'd want that area to be safe and clean. To add to the comfort station, what folks are looking for is is to have it be a comfort station to actually provide some services to help folks get off uh, whatever controlled substance they are to provide them with, the, with with adequate service, not an open drug market where um, you spend all day in a, in a treatment program and then as soon as you come out, um, there's an individual waiting for you to, to, to peddle or sell to you, you know, some form of drug that puts you right back into the same cycle that you've been trying to get away from. So we're asking for the engagement center to stay open, but the comfort station where they distribute needles and allow folks to publicly inject themselves to be closed because it's not a working and it's not it's not appropriate. It's an illegal substance that you're allowing folks to self-inject themselves, uh, what, what we call suicide by injection. And, you know, the city continues to allow that because no one seems to be paying attention to the to the actual outcomes of what's going on in the area. Probably the easiest way to participate is to find, um, uh, to donate directly to a mutual aid group. Bridge Kids or the South End Roxbury Community Partnership, Mass Ave Project, uh, people in Belmont could find one of these groups and, you know, we could pass out links or whatever to facilitate this uh, and help them directly. Or if, like, uh, if they want to help me out, uh, just like some groceries right this second would be good. You know, uh, this, like between the bologna, the peanut butter and jelly, the chili, it can get kind of pricey on a week to week basis. So that's one area I need help. We had a friend that attended attend the first church, Unitarian Universalist Church in Belmont, and uh, uh, they got their youth group to build us uh, vacuum packages for the unhoused folks on mass casts. So they collected all the donations and set up, uh, I guess, an assembly line. But uh, here we go. Uh, this is like, like the best vacuum package I've ever seen. Uh, they have men's and women, which will have like, like deodorant, like, you know, men, women deodorant or tampons and things like that. There's also like Q-tips or the snack in here. There's mouthwash, toothpaste, lotion, shampoo, sanitizer, hand sanitizer. We call it hand sanitizer in my house. Uh, soap uh, and all kind of stuff. So for a lot of people who uh, just don't have anything, you know, it's it's important for them to, to stay clean, um, stay healthy. We need more individuals like Benny to join us um, on the efforts of making change because he's coming from an outside community of Belmont into Boston to help with a situation that has grown into what it is today. You know, nine out of 10 folks who are on mass and cast don't live in Boston. They're coming from surrounding towns. So if we're able to bring in folks like Benny from surrounding towns to help us with the effort, it only increases our ability to reach out to other cities and towns and say, hey, you know, we should all be on the same page. We should all be um, helping support. If there's a legislation that's being put on the table to address this, uh, to make it a public public safety crisis for the state of Massachusetts. We need towns like Belmont. We need towns like Cambridge. We need towns like Drake and so forth. So like that, it's not just Bostonians at the table, but everybody uh, who lives in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts kind of has a seat uh, and a voice to make sure that we address this collectively versus um, small silos.